So in today's video, we're going to be talking about three tips on how to build muscle and minimize fat gain, aka lean bulk. I'm currently in a bulking phase and I started this phase back at the beginning of December, perfectly timed with the holiday season. To be honest, we'll get more into that. My starting weight for this bulk was 159 pounds. 10 weeks later, I'm weighing it at just over 171 pounds. So that's about a pound a week that I gained. The first tip is going to be to get stronger and train harder. You gotta understand that being in a caloric surplus means that A, you're eating more calories than your body needs to maintain weight, so you're going to gain weight, but B, you're going to have more energy and therefore more effort to expend during your workouts. Now, progressive overload is going to be the key to making sure that your bulk is successful, whether your goals are strength oriented or physique oriented. The point is you gotta get stronger in order to put on more muscle so your body can adapt. There's three things I think of when it comes to progressive overload, and these aren't the only things, but that first thing is going to be to increase your training volume. So this could be adding an extra set to your workout or an extra couple of reps to each movement in your workout. Therefore, you're doing more overall volume. The second way is going to be to increase your weights or your intensity so you can add five or 10 pounds to one of your big three lifts if you train that way. Or maybe it's adding a weight belt to your calisthenics movements such as the dip or the pull up. And then the third way for progressive overload, I don't think gets a lot of talk, is progressing your movements. So if you train with calisthenics, this could be progressing from a regular push up to an archer push up or a one armed push up. If you're training with weights, this could be going from a regular barbell back squat to a Bulgarian split squat. And again, these are just tools in the toolbox. It's not all set in stone. The main thing is A, you're pushing for that next progression that challenges you, and B, you're getting stronger. The second tip I wanna talk about for lean bulking is to not skip cardio. I don't care if you're bulking. I don't care if you think you have a fast metabolism. Cardio does have benefits for everybody, regardless of your goals. That being that A, you won't die in the middle of a bench press set or in the middle of squats, but let's be honest, anything over eight reps for squats is cardio. But jokes aside, cardio will help and make sure that you are recovering between your sets. It'll keep your heart and lungs healthy. Cardio itself, you shouldn't have to overthink. You wanna pick any form that you enjoy that will get your heart rate up and your body sweaty. It's good for the body, it's good for the mind. And myself, being a former cross country runner, I love running. I think running gets a bad rap, but if you don't like running, it doesn't have to be running. Cardio comes in many forms. Boxing, you do jump rope, you do, you do hit circuits. You could even do active lifestyle forms of cardio, such as hiking, surfing, snowboarding. Again, anything that just gets that heart rate up. That's one of my biggest regrets on my last bulk that went wrong that I did. I completely cut out cardio other than the occasional three or four minute warm up on the Stairmaster that I would do to get ready for my workout. If I could do it all over again, I would make sure that I still had one to two dedicated cardio sessions a week. Pick a form that you enjoy, pick a form that you could be consistent with, and make sure you're not killing yourself. A quick caveat in this category I wanna go over is hit cardio versus lists or low intensity steady state. I don't think either one is better than the other. I think it just comes down to personal preference and again, one that you can enjoy and do consistently. If you're into the HIIT workouts, then by all means, do one or two HIIT workout sessions a week. Just make sure that they're not so intense that they take away from your effort on the strength training side of things. And for me personally, I do both. One of my runs is more of a steady state, relaxed pace, and one of my runs is more of an interval or high intensity pace. And sometimes I won't even run on that hit day. I'll do sled pushes or sledgehammers and tire flips or uh, battle ropes. Again, it really comes down to the feel and what I think I'm enjoying. The whole point in cardio, again, is just to challenge the heart and lungs, but also to challenge the mind. So yes, do not skip your cardio. It's important. And when incorporated into your bulking routine, it can actually help with your recovery as well. And last but not least, the third tip I wanna go into is that your caloric surplus starts in the kitchen. Don't get it twisted. Just because you're in a bulk doesn't mean you have the excuse to eat like an asshole. Whether you're bulking or cutting, you should still be following the general guidelines being that you should A, be prioritizing your protein intake, B, making sure that you're getting quality whole foods in there from your vegetables to your fruits to your quality carbohydrate sources without getting too much into dietary preferences. As long as you're getting one to two grams of protein per pound of body weight, the rest of those calories can be filled in with either high carb, low fat or high fat, low carb. 
again, without getting too much into dietary preferences. Um, you can split those up however you like. I personally find that I operate better on a lower fat, higher carb diet, but you guys should know your bodies best. And if you don't, you're your ultimate experiment. So try those two diets out and see which one you feel better on. No, you do not have to track macros if you don't want to. You can go the intuitive route. I always recommend tracking first because I think it's hard to know what enough looks like if you haven't seen it or you haven't seen it in a while. Not every calorie is created equal. You gotta understand that while being in a surplus, you're going to gain some body fat in this process, but how much body fat you gain is all relative to how on point you are with your macro ratios. If you're prioritizing protein, you're going to be able to tell very quickly versus if you're prioritizing fast food or junk food. That's not to say you can't enjoy yourself. Being in a caloric surplus means that you have more wiggle room for moments of enjoyment and living life and enjoying the smaller things in life. That being said, no different than being in a cut, you should be enjoying so in moderation, right? You have every right to enjoy the finer things in life, but keep in mind your goals and the reason you're watching this video. You wanna optimize and maximize the amount of muscle your body is gaining and minimize the amount of fat it's gaining. So. Again, enjoy, but enjoy so in moderation. The point is, is that this is a long run game. It's not a sprint, but a marathon. So just recognize that you will gain some body fat, but you can minimize how much body fat you gain by making sure that your nutrition is in check. So again, you will and you should be able to enjoy yourself during this bulk phase. Understand that this is just one part of your fitness journey. Your fitness journey is a lifelong thing. It's not just a summer thing or a winter thing. This is ongoing. And as your journey progresses, your goals are going to change. And funny enough, we're talking about bulking today, but tomorrow we might be talking about how to run faster. So again, your fitness journey, your fitness goals are going to change and that's okay. But in the meantime, make sure that you apply these three tips uh, to your bulking journey so that you can really maximize the amount of muscle you put on and minimize the amount of fat. And that about does it for this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. If you did it, I'd appreciate if you're not already subscribed, clicking that subscribe button. It does help out the channel as well as leaving a like and comment what your goal is for your bulk. Do you want to get stronger? Are you measuring your arms? For me, again, my arms are up from 14 and a half to 14.75. I'm really proud about that. It's all about growth. It's all about progression. Understand, as long as you're better than you were yesterday and you keep on bringing your best, whatever that looks like today, keep on bringing your best yeah, and you will get better. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one.